Alrighty, video number two starts with the Metroid Shrine, the Metroid Wall, and then it's got my game collection. Looks kind of minuscule, but it's actually, uh, over time I've gotten rid of a lot of things, but, um, that's what I got left. Uh, and then we're going to go to the hallway area and closets. But yeah, let's start up here with this first poster. So this is a more recent poster from uh, My Nintendo, or I forgot what they call it at this point. I think it's My Nintendo. And then we got a wall scroll of the silver box. Underneath that, I got the Metroid Prime Trilogy. On the back, the uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy. It's got, you know, the three different Samuses from three different games. Ah, here's my original Famicom disc Metroid advertisement. On the back of that, they have some the Discoon and some other disc-based games. And then there's Metroid 2 with the famous pose. On the back of that advertisement for Game Boy. And then I got this alternate cover that I think it was like EGM Magazine gave for um, Resident Evil 4, which is here. And on the other side, they had uh, the second Metroid Prime game, Echoes. And this is a Super Metroid poster. So it's supposed to go Metroid, Metroid 2, Super Metroid. And underneath that, I've got some other M posters. There you go. And now the shelf itself with the classic version of the game as well as the silver box. Um, some trinkets, giveaways, uh, pre-order bonuses. This is a tape of the soundtrack from, this is from Japan. Um, and then this is the original game. Pretty pristine condition. The stickers on it and everything. Um, I have one sealed box in the S Classic series, but I also have it loose over here. And this is the Japanese Metroid 2. And then here's some Amiibos and Metroid controllers in front of Metroid Dread, which is in the center. Super Metroid on top of it. These are there's other versions of the box. This one is the one that was Kmart exclusive. This one is the Target exclusive that came with the coupon book. Um, this one is the one that came with the demo for uh, Metroid Prime 2, which I believe is the same demo that's here that Nintendo Power gave. This is the original one, and then Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, and Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, and the Metroid Prime Trilogy Steelbook, and the Metroid Prime Remastered. There is another version of the cover, but it's pretty daggone expensive. It came with, I think, Wind Waker uh, together in one pack. Here's Federation Force, and Other M, and Metroid Pinball, and Metroid Prime Hunters. Um, and then this was the Hunter's Demo that came with the original and the other M art book. And then these are just the empty Amiibo boxes. I also have the Amiibos up on my Amiibo wall for all of the uh, Metroid ones because I don't have them all loose. <clears throat> I got a Figma um, Samus. There's also Zero Suit Samus and Zero Suit Stam uh, Samus statues and don't have that, and I don't have a gunship. And then there was a Metroid box that, you know, they had released like an NES and a Super NES and a Mario and all these different boxes. They did one for uh, Metroid 2 also as well. Here's a Metroid Prime bonus bundle. Uh, this was just a slipcover that went over the GameCube box. It, when it was a Platinum. GameCube, but I do not have that particular GameCube, but I have the box. Uh, there's also a, uh, another 
Metroid consoles, a 3DS, new 3DS, I think. That's pretty daggone expensive too. I would just, I would settle for the box, but it'd be cool to have both, but you know, I forgot to mention I got the uh, Famicom mini series and this was the remake of Metroid 2, which came the soundtrack. Um, there was a, I think a better version of this in Europe, but I'm, I'm not getting that. Um, and then here's my Switch games. I may expand the Switch games. Um, to go across these two shelves, like over there, but haven't done that yet. Uh, and then this is Wii U, some of which I might be able to even get rid of. Um, because they have been, you know, brought over to Nintendo Switch. And then here's the Wii games left. And here's GameCube. I've already sold some more of those, including these are some demo discs, the bottom shelf. And then let's scoot over here to the other games. We've got my 3DS games. And we've got the Club Nintendo Game & Watch collections on DS. These are my DS games. And then these are the Mario games. I am missing Yoshi's Island. Now I got a spot for it right there. Super Mario Advance 3, I'm missing that one. And then here's just I collect Wario games. <laughs> you can see my reflection there. And Perfect Dark. And Space Invaders, which was the first big deal Super Game Boy game. Super Game Boy was the shiznit when I was a little kid. Well, I say a little kid, but whatever. This stuff is just... I'm eventually going to clean this up. This is going to be like my uh, burned games for other systems. Let me reduce that down to one shelf. And then, like I said, expand the Switch one so you can see them better. And especially uh, if, if and when the uh, next Switch comes out, I'll have space for those. Alrighty, so let's move over to the hallway. Not a lot of light here, but um, I have some little trinkets on the wall here. I'm probably going to add more of those so that you can see them better because they were on the entertainment center, but um, you got to be tall like me to see all that. But here's some uh, mini classics, which are basically game and watches that were reformatted into little keychains. Um, this was from Club Nintendo. I think on the other side is... I want to get that up there better. This was a giant card so that you could stand next to some Nintendo character in an AR game or AR photobomb or whatever. Here's some more Nintendo like candies and stuff that had hooks, hanging hooks. And then this, I was going to add more 3DS faceplates, but these are the only faceplates that I got right now. And then up above, I've got the timeline for Mario and a timeline for Zelda, although it's not, you know. And then these two other walls are bare, but I'll figure out something to put there later. This, I was going to make a Nintendo artwork section where people had made art. Um, this is actually kind of a semi-famous tattoo artist. I'm not into tattoos myself, but she... Uh, just doodled this because she was working at a uh, sandwich shop at the time before she became, you know, like a nationwide traveler to do a... Uh, she's a really good artist, Rachel Lair. And then this is another artist who made that for me. It was supposed to be me. <laughs> and then I also have maps, which are on the door. There's a bunch of maps underneath. I'm not going to show you all the ones underneath and stuff because they're just... Uh, these are cloth maps that came with, I think, some Prima guides for Zelda. So, what have you. And famous maps. This is one from Golden Sun. And Mario Advance 2, which is Super Mario World. And, of course, Link to the Past. 
And then this was the one that came with the special edition of Breath of the Wild. And this is Pokemon games. Maps. Around the door, I have a bunch of hats and head headwear. <laughs> and I uh, cover these hats, some of these hats more in my Nintendo Power uh, videos. Because some of them were gotten from the Nintendo Power Super Power Supplies catalog. If you see my last year's video, you, mo a lot of the, not a lot has changed, but I'm, I'll go over the changes as the years go on when I do these videos. So here is my Nintendo hoodies. And then this is all my Metroid um, t-shirts and wear and stuff. So I have a, uh, I forgot what they call these, like G4 TVs or something. I can't remember. They were CRT TVs that had built-in speakers and they were supposed to be, ooh, made for gaming and stuff, but they're so small. <laughs> I just have it up there. Um, there's one of those Luigi hats, but I took it down because it kept ripping in the back where I had it hooked up. And uh, then there's some just extra doodads and stuff, packaging and stuff that I probably gonna sell uh, that are video game related. So yeah, there's that. And then on the floor behind my couch, after you get out of the hallway, is my bag that I take with me uh, when I'm out walking around. You'll see me thereabouts. So I'm going to cover the rest of the collection in the other videos. So keep watching. And thanks for watching this one.